Greetings! I am Goldenwing, and welcome back to episode 12 of Let's Play Space Engineers. So I've been busy busy, as you can see, and uh, got the kind of the, the polish of what we did last episode. And uh, I need to get some ice, because we are going to need to fill those tanks. So let me go get some ice, and why don't you check out what I did earlier? back and I've got a uh, whole ton of ice well not exactly like sure I got a ton but we filled up the, the ship at any rate <laughs> so let's see let me show you I pull up yep we've got all of our oxygen generators full each one of them is holding hundred and six thousand ice um, and we've got 20 of those remember um, and then we've got the two medium cargo containers. They're holding 91,000 apiece. Um, interesting that they're holding less than those oxygen generators, which are smaller than them. So I may actually swap those cargo containers out for something more useful um, for the space they're taking. Then we've got one of the, the large azimuth containers um, holding uh, a couple hundred thousand ice. I believe our tanks are all full. Um, let's take a look. Yeah. So all the hydrogen tanks are now full. So that's good news. And yeah, maybe since these are only holding as much as our 
our tiny little one block uh, oxygen generators and it's taking up a three by three by three area probably swap those for I don't know maybe more tanks I'm not sure we'll see um, so let's see these turned out fantastic um, I've got a little cavity opened up so I'm planning to add some stuff um, but I really like the way the wings uh, turned out um, yeah, I think that looks cool never mind the the landing gear there that's just temporary I think that looks good okay so some of the things that we missed for those of you who have been paying careful attention occurred to me we have no gyroscopes which you know is a bad thing so I want to add gyroscopes never know how many gyroscopes to add uh, so you know we'll just go with a lot and hope that's enough <laughs> oh, they're all gonna be rotated around the wrong way aren't they okay so be it we'll be covered up anyway so that will be 18 and we'll double that on the other side been a while since um, I've done the math on how many gyroscopes you need for mass. Um, it's just been a long time since I've looked at that. But last I really did it, it seemed like uh, a lot was the answer, no matter how you sliced it. Uh, just sort of more than you think there is. I'm going to leave these three by three by three block empty spaces here, because I sort of have plans for those later. That would require a resource we don't have yet. So we're going to leave those empty for now. We'll seal this back in. So that should give us gyroscopes. Add these. And there we go. Okay. So that handles gyroscopes and seals those in. Um, this is what that connector looks like. And you can see I added a bunch of T intersections so that I could adjust it forward or back. Um, it's also occurred to me that we are missing a few other things that I'd like to get put in here. Uh, for one thing, I'd like to add an antenna. So let's, let's stick an antenna in here. Um, I also want to add a beacon. I don't believe beacons are strictly necessary, um, but we've got the space, uh, so we might as well put a beacon in there. Um, I would like to add an ore detector. Um, just want to think about this. I think what I'm going to do so this is going to look a little funny. I'm going to add Azimuth's strong ore detector here. Uh, and I'm actually going to add the standard one on the other side. For one thing, we've got space for it. Um, but also, in areas like planets, if you use uh, Azimuth's detector, uh, it can tend to lag things quite a bit because it's trying to scan a much larger area. Uh, so this way we can turn one of them off and we can use either the smaller one um, or uh, or the big one. And like I said, we've got the extra room so we might as well. Um, so okay, we can seal that off nice. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. We could add a remote block. Do I want a remote? I mean, I guess I might. Um, I want it right in the middle. What is that? Oh, that's one of our... Uh, yes, yes, of course. Okay, yeah, let's add a remote. 
Um, not sure. I didn't really have any plans to remote the ship, but as long as we're thinking about it. And I guess we'll just seal the rest of this off here like this. And the nanites will finish all of that for us. Cool. Now the next thing that I really want to think about is the underside of this thing. It is all kinds of not finished. Um, I'd like to round this out a little more uh, and maybe think about, um, you know, how the, the bottom is structured. I might be able to squeeze in a few more atmospherics facing down. Um, so, right. So in order to do that, I've put these little temporary landing struts here. Um, and I built out these uh, columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this platform out. Probably like this. And uh, we'll move the ship so that it is sitting off its new landing struts. Bring it out a little more. Um, on those big pillars. That'll get it off the ground enough uh, that we can really play underneath. So I'll we'll add those. Awesome. Okay. So. Theoretically, we should be able to pick it up, that looks about right, set it right down on top of those posts. So, let's give this a try. Close the door for reasons I don't understand. Oh yeah, I did a little work on the bridge. Let me show you. I was playing around. I didn't like these corners, um, so I sort of tried to round them out here. Gave us room to add some LCDs in the front, which I sort of liked. Um, admittedly, there are a lot here. Um, I'm hoping that with the uh, with automatic LCDs, you can span um, information across more than one LCD. So I'm hoping to, to span maybe these three and these three and these three and these three. Uh, and then that'll leave the center ones for maybe artificial horizon um, or damage. So not all individuals, but I'm hoping the span command works on these is my plan. Okay. Let me get my toolbar arranged here um, and uh, we'll give this a shot. Okay. That should do. So, oh, nope, view. Yes, awesome. Okay. So we'll turn the atmospheric engines on. We'll turn the hydros on. Oh, I know what I need. I need the landing gear. Um, which I didn't group yet. Well, I guess I'll add it to a group later. Just use this for now. Whoa. Okay. So it's got a lot of thrust. That's lighter than I thought. 71, well, okay, 712. There we go. Now, just out of curiosity, if we turn the hydros off, Unlock the gear. Yeah, we do have enough to... We don't have thrusters pointing in every direction. I only put the hydro... or the... excuse me, I keep mixing up the terms. I only put the atmospheric engines facing down and uh, forward, I think. So we don't have complete control so I'm hoping we can slip them in the bottom. Okay. So, shut those down, shut those down. I want to check the batteries, make sure they're set to recharge. Cool. Yeah, that's a door. Oh, 
Oh, that's fantastic. Actually, what I'm going to do, maybe you guys do this differently, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a uh, just a little platform here. I mean, at this point, we're rolling in iron so it's not like this costs much and with nanite builds real easy so now I can get kind of up here and work all right so hmm I think these are covering yeah these are covering up the inside to try and make it uh, airtight so I don't really want to dig into that if I don't have to Had sort of a lot facing down, but I would really feel better if I could slip in. Yeah, that's our floor. We're not going to be able to go up here. What does the thruster look like? Do we still have them out? Where are they? These guys. down. Not sure I want to do that. Could add lateral control though, because I sort of want to curve this part down. We took the uh, Yeah, this part ends up coming in. I want it to curve its way down. So maybe it should start this way. If we laid these, come on now. Right? I guess that's the only part it's going to do that, isn't it? Because all the thrusters are in the way. There. Oh, no. Where's the piece I'm looking for? There it is. We do this. We fall down. We go back on our platform. Right? Come down like that. Now, if we want three blocks of clearance, one, two, three, then the easiest way to grab that would be to do this again, right? If we did that. slip him in there. Actually this is getting I don't sort of want the nanites completing what we're doing here. So I just sort of want to think. That would give a good amount. And then maybe maybe it just ends there. Or does the curve come under one more? I'm not sure what that was. I 
what the profile of that look like? It's bringing it under quite a bit, the depth of the craft. But <clears throat> it's not terrible. Maybe this is too much. I'm not sure what that sound is. It's like gas escaping? Everything's off, right? I mean, yeah. The atmospheric thrusters are off. The uh, hydrogens are off. Tanks are uh, tanks are full. I guess we turn the oxygen generators off. It certainly sounds like gas. I guess it's going to have to go down at least half of that, isn't it? Because of the depth we've already got. Let me get some more of this framed out and I'll uh, be right back with you. All right. So I think I've got this framed out the way I think I like it. So that's sort of the, just the framing of it. Not too bad. Gives it a little character underneath. There is a bit of space um, in here. Just a bit that we haven't used. Um, and I sort of want to leave some empty space that way because we're going to get um, ion thrusters. Excuse me, when we, uh, when we have the resources to make them and then we'll want to put those here. Uh, I also added more atmospheric thrusters uh, so we've got uh, five left five right and then six forward and back um, i also added five more facing downward here and here and here and here so hopefully that'll help us um, take off because if we're leaving a planet like this with an atmosphere I'm not mistaken we can use atmospherics up to about 10 kilometers above the surface and then the atmospherics don't uh, help us anymore so if we can leverage uh, just the atmospherics to get to 10 kilometers up well then we don't have to use any of our hydrogen fuel until that point which would be sweet uh, so what I want to do here is seal this up. There are, uh, just for measuring sake, there are three blocks between these as all of these thrusters are pointing inward. So uh, thrusters do damage in, in a three block range. So that should be fine. So we'll just go ahead and seal this up. Just like that. Ah, yes. Thank you, ship. Also, that, that is not the oxygen generators. I was thinking about that while I was building that out. That's the vents. It's these guys, I think. So I'm going to come in here and for the moment, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and group these up as air vents. I'm going to shut the air vents it off, and I think we shut the oxygen gens off. So let's turn those back on. We'll see if that makes a difference, I guess. I'm just not sure what that sound is, that's all. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments. I think it's the air vents. That's my guess. Um, also, I made sure to leave this block out uh, so that we'd have our three block clearance one two three from those thrusters uh, and I did the same over here 
Yep. So all of our thrusters should have proper clearance. So let's let uh, the nanites weld this up and uh, see what it looks like. What do you say? Thank you, nanites. That's much better. So this is sort of what I was thinking about for landing gear. So I don't want to leave these uh, these temporary struts on the side. Uh, these are all heavy blocks. And I did another four down specifically because of those thrusters, which actually means we can fit a number of additional thrusters here uh, down the line should we choose to. Uh, and then my plan was to put full heavy armor blocks here like this and then the maglock pads down the strip. Like that. And then we'll duplicate that on this side. right in the corners. That one and your friend. Just do all of the same bits here. No, nope, not that one. Put a piece there? Oh, I did. Well, that explains why it's difficult to put one there. Nope, nope, yeah. Yeah, so you guys will have to let me know what you think about this. I thought it was kind of a clever way to do landing gear and make it look interesting. 
and could have just stuck the little feet on uh, on the bottom there but uh, based on the size of the craft I thought that would look kind of disproportional so let's go ahead and put our repair beacon back on so I had taken that off so I could goof around and then I still get to work on that I also added oops apparently I forgot a couple of pieces no, no, yes. Oh yeah, and I caught this too. I don't know if you caught that in the montage, but I did. So we'll put that there. Yeah, right. So I had added these little uh, cargo containers because I was kind of thinking about this. If we land on, say, the alien planet with this ship, not that it has a jump drive in order to get there, but just for argument's sake, um, and you ran out of, say, hydrogen fuel, or Earth for that matter, uh, Terra. If you ran out of hydrogen fuel and you were standing here, you couldn't, you can't actually get up there uh, in order to get the hydrogen to get in the ship to, yeah. So I added a couple of cargo containers here. Um, at least this way you can reach into the ship and hopefully get a hydrogen tank. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think that'll be cool for landing gear. The other thing I was thinking about is in here. I want to take these windows down. Yeah, like that. Hmm. Now, I'm sort of not super satisfied with this medium cargo container because he's He's not really that space efficient. I thought he'd be holding more. And the truth of the matter is, these uh, little ice machine uh, ice machines, the uh, oxygen generators there hold as much as this does. If we um, sort out ice, yeah, here's the azimuth oxygen generator holding 40,000 liters or 106,000 ice. Um, and here's the medium cargo container holding less in liters and slightly less in ice, but it's taking up <laughs> way, way, way more space than it should. Uh, so I think I might, might end up switching those. In any case, my thought was we've got these uh, medical stations. Not that one. Where was the... Yeah, the medium one. Right, so what if we added a med station there? Cool. Yeah, like that. I thought that would be cool. So we could have a... Uh, and I can recharge... Everything except hydrogen. Hmm. Well, I don't actually have it plugged into the conveyors properly. It's just run through this. Which I thought would work. I'll have to play around with them. At any rate, I am running out of time for today, but I want to thank everybody for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button. It really does help me out. And uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, including Sunday. So everybody have a great rest of your day, and uh, have a good one.